The Battle of Parkani, Turkish, Sijerland Savas October 7-9, 1683, was fought in the town of Parkani, today, Sturovo, in the Ottoman Empire, and the area surrounding it as part of the Polish-Ottoman War and the Great Turkish War. The battle was fought in two stages. In the first stage the Polish-Lithuanian troops under John III Sobiski were defeated by the Ottoman army under Karamemd Pasha on October 7, 1683. In the second stage of the battle John III Sobiski, supported by Austrian forces under Charles V, Duke of Lorraine defeated the Ottoman forces, which were supported by the troops of Imith Okali, and gained control of Parkani on October 9, 1683. After the defeat, Austrians would siege Estagum and captured after short siege at end of 1683. On May 1, 1683 the Ottoman Empire attacked the Holy Roman Empire and besieged Vienna on July 14, 1683. 2. On September 6, the Polish-Lithuanian army under John III Sobieski arrived in Tuln, and united with imperial forces and additional troops from Saxony, Bavaria, Baden. Frankenia and Swabia who had answered the call for a holy league that was supported by Pope Innocent XI. The Ottoman army totaling around 150,000 men under Kara Mustafa Pasha was eventually defeated on September 11, 1683. 2. The main part of the Ottoman forces retreated in the Balkans. A part of the Ottoman army under Kara Memd Pasha encamped in Parkani, in Hungary, where they were supported by Amath Okali, a local ruler. 1. 174 The Polish forces under John III Sobieski followed the Ottoman troops in Parkany in order to defeat them as they retreated. First stage of battle. On October 6, 1683 the Polish army reached the environs of Parkany. The army commanders advised caution, suggesting the advanced guards should rest for a day. Instead, Sobieski decided to surprise the Ottoman army by attacking them with his cavalry. On October 7, 1683 the Polish troops totaling around 5,000 soldiers under Sobieski advanced in a rather disorganized manner towards the Ottoman positions. A Polish dragoon regiment under Stefan Bidzinski was leading the advance. Suddenly a mass of Ottoman cavalry surged forward to attack them. The dragoon regiment was caught completely by surprise. It did not even have the match cords of its muskets lit, and was quickly overwhelmed. The surviving dragoons fled back in panic into Sobieski's main force closely followed by the Turkish horse, and forced the Poles to beat a hasty retreat, to the safety of the Imperial Army which was following on several kilometers behind. The Polish army lost around 1,000 soldiers. Only the intervention of the Imperial Cavalry prevented the Ottoman troops from causing far heavier losses. Second stage of battle. On October 8, 1683 Imperial reinforcements totaling 16,700 troops under Charles V, Duke of Lorraine joined the Polish army. After defeating the Polish cavalry Kara Memd Pasha was sent 8,000 elite cavalrymen by Kara Mustafa Pasha. The troops of Imith Okali were waiting for attack orders on the outskirts of Parkani. On October 9, 1683 the Imperial Army formed three lines. In the center of the lines were positioned 7,600 infantrymen under Ernst Trudiger von Starhemberg. The Polish army was positioned on the wings. John III Sobieski led the right wing and Stanislaw Jan J. Blonowski the left wing. On the right side of the lines 4,500 German cavalry under Ludwig Wilhelm, Margrave of Baden-Baden were positioned. On the left side of the lines 4,500 cavalry were positioned under Johann von Dumald. The Ottoman forces attacked the first line of the Imperial Army unsuccessfully and were flanked by the Polish cavalry. The Ottoman army was defeated and lost about 9,000 men during the battle. Aftermath After defeating the Ottomans in Parkani, the Imperial forces continued their march and defeated the Ottomans multiple times while gaining control of Ottoman territories in Hungary. Kara Mustafa Pasha was executed for failing to defend the Hungarian territories of the Ottoman Empire.